Do you want to make easy effing keto at home? Well, watch this video and I'll show you how to do it. French meal and I had some extra shrimp shells. So I'm going to show you real quick how to make some shrimp stock with uh, things that you just have at home and then that way you don't just throw away the shrimp shells, you can make something with it. So here I've got the uh, the shrimp shells that I kept in the refrigerator. I've got a, um, a mirepoix right here of uh, celery, carrots, and onions. Typically you do, when you're making a stock, you do one by weight, you do one onion to half carrot and half celery. Uh, but we're, I just took whatever I had in the, um, in the uh, refrigerator, extra stuff, and just kind of threw it in. The celery is not extra. Uh, I use that for my keto for snacks, but, um, but that, that's typically what you would do. So uh, don't crucify me because, because this is uh, off a little bit. All right, first off, we're going to get our pot going. I'm going to put a little olive oil in it. This is what we're gonna to use to saute the vegetables before we put uh, the water in to actually make the stock. So you can, you can hear it starting now. So we're gonna let the vegetables go a little longer since the shrimp shells don't take quite as long. We're gonna sweat them until they get soft then we're gonna add our shrimp shells to the, to the stock pot. All right, shells are nice and pink. Now let's add some water. we've got the water in we're going to bring it up to a boil and turn it down to simmer and we're going to let it simmer for about an hour we're going to see uh in an hour and see what it what it looks like all right guys we're done um let me show you what it looks like so this is the stock all right so i've set up a little ice water bath so we're gonna strain this out. This is my uh, little baby strainer. It's more like a tea strainer. All right, so we're putting this in an ice water bath, an ice bath. Put as much, get as much water into the um, ice bath as you can so it goes, the water around the outside of the pan goes up as high as it can so the temperature will come down fast enough. This will take forever, hours, to actually cool in the refrigerator. And um, what we're trying to do is speed up the process. So if you just take your ladle, you press it down, and it, it will fill up, and then that way you can uh, limit how much of the solids are coming out until you get to the bottom and then the pan will be more manageable at that point. That's really all I'm doing here. This little pan is probably not big enough for, uh, for 
for the amount of volume I've got. But it's almost, it's actually almost done, so. Um, so what you'll wanna do is keep this in the ice bath for probably a couple hours, at least until the uh, temperature drops down to about 70, 70 degrees. And that's it. I would suggest that stirring this as it's cooling will help to uh, cool the liquid. But you can see the color in that uh, just from those shells. And then it's gonna have the flavor from the uh, mirepoix. And it's gonna be really nice. So what can you make with shrimp stock? Well, I'll tell you what I would do. I would use it for soups. I would use it for a sauce, a pan sauce that I'd make for uh, salmon or another shrimp. You could do a uh, bula base soup with it. You could do a shrimp boil with it. Uh, lots of options. You can do a Google search and you can find lots of stuff. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll do some of those now that I've got this shrimp stock. I'll do one and put it on the, uh, uh, on the YouTube. Um, but you see, it's really easy. I did cook it down for a couple of hours. Um, but it's really quick. It's a lot quicker than say doing chicken stock or beef stock and it's um, Just as useful uh, You could use it in a seafood chili if you were doing that um, Tons of options that uh, that you can do with it. You can even make a popsicle if you want Who effing cares, right? But one thing's for sure you're saving money. You use those shrimp shells But one thing's for sure you're saving money. You use those shrimp shells One thing's for sure, you're saving money. You use those shrimp shells that you were just gonna throw away and you made a stock out of them. Easy, couple hours, good to go. Make sure that it gets down to 70 degrees before you put it into the refrigerator though, or, or you could have some issues. Um, but thanks for watching, I hope this video was, was helpful. Uh, give me a like and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.